But now let me also say this, that you mentioned the fact that you know, your raises and every time you come, out of the past five years, the police department has received more than four, more than four raises. I, mean, I, can, I can attest to the fact because I was one of the ones that went along with the chief to ask the mayor for an additional substance for the police department. And if you were to check your records, you will find that you, out of the past four years, out of the past five years, you received four raises. I, I don't know the raises. But now you're saying that Council you don't. Room, I don't know the raises. And, that, and that's why. Right. It, it was fine to give us a raise. But we got to see a raise when you get to it. I remember one time we got a raise, you broke it down, it was like $60 on a paycheck. Once you tax that, council, that's not necessary. See, what you're doing, you're giving us those hush raises. Just give us enough to, 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 so we can be quiet to the next year. We want a raise that we can see. You know, we don't. I mean, we don't want a raise just kind of where we give you one this year and then name a third or fourth, fifth dollar. That, that's not a raise. Just give us a raise, and we, you won't be seeing us here. Every year. I'm not sure of that. Not if you receive raises out of four out of the past five, uh, four out of the past five years, and, and you're still coming. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Mean, this is the why. why? Well, once before they thought about bringing us in front of compliance with the sheriff, well, we do the same work they did. We work the same hours they do. We take the same. Matter of fact, we t we take more uh, uh, calls when it come down to disturbing than they do. But we work the same. But we we do the same work they do. What 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 what? what Y'all what? People think they are more than we are. I mean, we work along with Sheriff Hall. We work with each other every day. Now, this has been going on ever since 1991, the same old thing. You know, at some point, y'all need to appreciate the police officer. But while you sleep at night, we watching your houses too. So what you're saying is that the raise that you have received is not adequate and that's not enough. That's what you're saying. No, no. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I mean, we appreciate what you do. I mean, we thank you for what you did, but it, it just wasn't enough. It wasn't I mean, anytime I get my paycheck and all I'm saying, I, get, I see differences. <clears throat> it wasn't $10 difference. Really, it wasn't $10 difference. Okay. Right, let, let, me, let, me ask, let me ask you one more question. Is the state something you don't pay? Do y'all pay us then? No, the state something else. It comes from the state. But is it included in our salary? Sure. Why? Because it comes from the state, it, it goes into your salary. Certification, as far as your certification is concerned, is to be added why, to your why, why? And it's also used. It's also used in order to to uh, to calculate the uh, the percentages that you receive as far as your fringe benefits. Am I correct? I'm asking you that. So you tell me. So it, actually, y'all taking the credit? No, I didn't say that. Plus, I said really? The state well, y'all got our state so little pay included in our. We get tax for it. It's in our place. It's just like y'all was giving us that. We went to school today. And I can, I mean, either one of us can leave this corner this part in the day and go to another and still make that $500. Right. Right. So why is y'all got included in our pay? Like y'all paying, y'all not paying us that $600. I don't think that's right. That's $6,000 a year that y'all taking credit for paying us when the state is giving it to us. Y'all not giving us that $6,000. And I don't think that's right. Well, that, you'd have to take up with your legislature because they make the rules and the laws. Well, right. every, every, every time it's not like that. Well, let me say this. <clears throat> I spoke to the mayor about a week ago about the hours that we work at the police department. We work at an 84-hour pay period. Um, we only get paid for 80 hours. Um, I just like to know where are the other four hours are. And why are we not receiving those four hours? Because that is a federal law. You are getting paid for 84 hours. It we getting paid for up, It just shows that on your check stub for 80. What the, what the chief turns in is 84 hours. Your check stub just shows 80. The four hours are supposed to be overtime hours. That's the federal law. If I work, 80, if I work 84 hours in a pay period, 80 hours is ready time. Those four hours are overtime. Have that is a federal law. Have you discussed this with you? With the chief, yeah. Uh, no, ma'am, I haven't discussed it with the chief. Um, but me and other officers got together and we talked about it. And I just want to know where it's going. Well, me, me and the chief, me and the chief talked about it the 84 hour. Who we talked about it. Uh, we actually didn't come to the clue where we we we, did, we didn't understand. I don't think he understand where the 84 hour went. Was going. What other what the other hour was going either.
Well, we get our checks due. Our checks due. So we get paid for eighty. Get paid for eighty hours. And it clearly states on the federal law that anything after eighty hours, in police office is time to have. And we're not getting it. If you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't give me comp time for it either. It has to be paid time and a half. That's a federal law, and we're not getting. It. Do you, do, can you bring that law? To oh, that yes, law? sir. We sure have to take a look at it. We're not going to pay for it. That law went into effect in 1938. We'd be more than happy to see it. If you can produce it, we'd be glad to take a look at it. But that does not mean that uh, we're not in compliance with it. Because had it not been, <coughs> Brad, no, had it not been, of course, then the auditors would have picked this up long time. And they may pick it up in this audit. This audit. Let's just see what they're going to find. And if that's the case, then because we haven't been in compliance when it comes down to the payment for the police officers. I mean, have not been out of compliance. Had, it, had that happened, then I'm sure we would've, we, it would have been brought to our attention. Or at least to the, to the mayor's attention. Or to the, to the finance uh, committee's attention. And of course, to the payroll officer's attention. This has not been brought to our attention from that standpoint. And I do know that there are special provisions for both the police department and the fire department. And you're right. It does talk about hours that exceed more than the normal, you know, 80 hours a week. I mean, 80 hours a pay period. But now, how those are to be adjusted, I don't know. I mean, I have to take a look at that and, 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 and get back with you, which I'd be more than happy to do. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare say that we're cheating you out of one single penny. Uh, I mean, we, we're not up here trying to cause no. No, no, no big problem. We, we just we just want to be compensated for what we do. Yes, uh, now, let me tell you this here. Back here, we had, had a tax pay, which at first it was it, it was limited to people for police and fire. What what what, what that money? I mean, you going to say that again? I said at first it was presented to the people. It was when we go in for police and fire. But afterwards, we put in the general fund. What what that money? Go? No, no, that's not the uh, The council did not present that. To the public as a uh, that's that's the way the people got it from the start. Well, yeah, but the, but it was voted to the council. It was going to go to the it general. Send it out, and it will be for police and fire. That's where it started. Well, they yeah. talked about this once before. Yeah, and Councilman Rick said that it was discussed. It was discussed by the council, right? But it wasn't put on the paper. But, right. but it was also noted that the mayor, the governing body, oversees the budget and that tax money, and said that they would be there in time for me. For the police and fire department and the city towns official uh, workers. And, 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 and what, and what, what they're saying is, like uh, Officer Joy said, that uh, the tax was, was, was passed, but when we talked about the density, bringing it in compliance with the density, then you all were supposed to be there to pay me. I don't understand that. Right? Let me say it again now. Explain that. <laughs> the rating. It was discussed because I, I expressed it. This is the raise? No. The bringing the, the beginning salary in compliance with the, the town people and compliance with the sheriff's department. No, sir. We did not. We, we didn't. We did, you may have discussed it or made, that, made a, uh, a recommendation. The same thing they're not, doing. That was a recommendation to do what's right who, for people who are protecting us. That's, that's what they are expressing. That's what we've done. That's what we took into consideration the amount of money that was requested by the chief to the mayor, and we took that money and we looked at it as far as the, the cost of what it was going to it was going to cost the city plus them or to pay these uh, to pay these bills, and we took that money divided it equally, and 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 it came out to one hundred fifty dollars. On from that standpoint, that would be bring home money basically, and then of course. The other 150 was used for uh, to go on the fringe benefits because they were rising on rising costs. Now let me say this: we were instructed in our meetings in the LMA that possibly there would be many, many cities that would be looking at a debt, not only a deficit, but also no pay raise or no, not even uh, a three percent uh, cost of living raise to their offices. It was recognized right before we started talking about this there in Monroe, and you'll find that most of those officers even now, because they receive a special a special tax, 
then they they were able they are able to get more money than our officers. But that's the only reason. When you take and look at and pull that special tax out, our guys are right in line basically with what they're making. And in addition to that, some of those officers had to actually vote whether or not to even stay on force because they were looking at uh, doing a furlough. And in some cases, they did do a furlough. And our boys, our guys, uh, they, excuse me for saying boys, but our guys actually diverted that. We diverted that and kept them on the payroll instead of going to a, a furlough, which could have been more of a deficit than, than an asset. So yeah, we do appreciate you. We sit down and we, we bumped our heads trying to make sure that everybody across the board was able to get a raise. Not only just the police officers, but also those employees that work for the city, period. So you got some, and all the rest of them got some. But we still have a little bit left, yes. But we still have to look at ongoing circumstances, and we have to consider that. So our biggest problem, I think, is, is like my wife has started a convenience store and makes more than we do. Okay. I mean, we have no problems. We get paid every day to come out here and die for everybody. I mean, that's what we get paid to do. If we, if we had to put our life on the line for years, we would do it in a second without thinking about it. That's why all of us are still here. That's why all of us do this job. But when we can go to a convenience store and make what we're making, I mean, and you say fringe benefits, I, where, where are we? You don't receive any hospitalization. You don't receive. Um, yeah, well, I see that. I see the oh, issue. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm I'm taking it upon myself to to say fringe benefits when I should be saying you're being compensated in other means, such as by way of of of, of, of hospitalization, your retirement. But you know, sometimes communication makes a big difference. In a yes, lot sir. Of I understand. We don't have to talk about a lot of things. Which we are asking. I'm saying, just ask the question. We'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But the now is not the time. Family. That's that's what I'm saying. We, I ask. I have. I don't have a problem coming and sitting down and talking with you collectively as a group or any of us. The finance committee would be more than happy to do so. Explain to you why uh, and how the one how the funds were were cut up. And how they and how and what areas they go into, but this is really not the place, gentlemen. I mean, what we you did receive the money. We no, no, no. no, it's not the place to, to go into detail. I understand what you're saying. Sure, you know, I see you got a question. I see you got a problem. But what I'm saying is, in order for us to sit down and, and work with the police department, we need to do it one on one, and not you know here, no, but no. also just coming in and sit down at the department. Let me say something. Let me say the council. That's the problem right now. Too much one-on-one stuff. That, that's that's what the problem is right now. Too much one-on-one. -on -one, too much back door this and back door this. Now we get you all here so we can talk to all of them. So we can see what all of them say. Well, see, all of them, see, all of them, didn't, make, all of them didn't make that decision when they went to the budget. The well, finance committee well, was the one that know. took a look at that and they divided. They yeah. looked at it and they made the decision as to how that budget was going to be, uh, uh, how it was going to be put together. Yeah. And then it was presented to the rest of the. No, 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 we ain't gonna hold a whole lot, y'all. I'm gonna say this: I got talked to Council Mahoney before this the proposal come up. He told me in his own mind that he was all for us getting ready. He said we should have got it ten years ago. Now that's what he told me. But then when it but when it's time to vote, everybody got a different story. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody, it don't ever happen. I don't think anybody voted against it. Nobody voted against that race. And because, I mean, you, because you only we, got 150 that was shown to you, that does not mean we, that we need a race. We need a race. We need a race. We can spend. We can't spend what y'all give us. And how much did you say came out of that $150 that you All spent? I can tell you, when I got <laughs> my check, my bring home payment was like six, seven dollars different. All they did was put us in another different tax bracket. So if you, really what it is. if you got three hundred dollars, then you only say that you get fourteen dollars. I'm just telling you what my paycheck Joe. When I got my brain home pay, the difference was like six dollars. And and now I mean some of them all the same thing. Okay. I mean I don't know what it went. But it just showed they go in our brain home. I mean it, you can't see it. But even even when the even when the bingo came, we supposed to get one out, we ain't never got that out of What happened to bingo? When it, when you know the bingo first come here? Y'all stated that we supposed to got a raise out of it. We haven't got nothing out of it. Am I right? Some count. Am I right? We stated that. Yes, you told us that. No. Now it was discussed. I remember. No, y'all. That bingo was a temporary. It was temporary. We didn't know how long it would go, and you couldn't. You couldn't rely upon that income for a permanent raise. That was discussed. Yeah. How many years bingo been up there? 
They haven't bought a new one. They haven't bought a new one. Because most of those... But they the way it was. Y'all told us. The bingo, we money, the bingo money actually goes to non-profit organizations. Well, I'm just telling you what y'all told us. That was told us. If we told you that, then we told you wrong. I'll take it upon my shoulders to say that. I'm not afraid to say it. But I am going to say this. It goes into funds where this city cannot actually dip into funds and give to other nonprofit organizations, the schools, and the systems, and things of that. The way you give time, then those funds go for that particular purpose. And we don't receive we don't receive anything from that. Are you confusing private? I know, so I'm not confusing. I'm not confusing at all. My question. I'm talking about with general funds because no. as I said, taxes pass for the money to go in general funds for the mayor and the governing body to vote to get these people what they are rightfully deserve. And we for did. around protecting. Yes, sir, we did. We gave them what they asked for. It just went into different categories for the police department. We gave them exactly what they asked for. So it's not a problem of it's not any the money it. there, it's just the decision making up there. No, it's the fact that they don't see it the way that they would like to see it in order to, for it to be utilized by them. But they got the raise that they asked for. And they got it in different categories. <laughs> well, but Mary, it, it went Mary to the police I, department. Mary and I, excuse me, I'm sorry. Mary and I was told we was getting a five hundred dollar raise. We ended up getting a three hundred dollar raise. And it doesn't show up anything in our checks. Not including that we were supposed to have already gotten two two hundred and fifty dollar raises that everybody else got that we got overlooked. We had nothing to do with that. We had, we made a we made a recommendation for you to get that money. How, I know, how that, that's why it? we were here because yeah. see we didn't get our fair share. Five was uh, five was asked for, but during the during the meeting that's when we decided that well, the finance committee decided that the other two would be used for the benefit. So they got $300 that went to their actual paycheck and then uh, or to into that particular category, and then the other two went into the cost of the uh, paid for their benefit. Now, now, say what I think is happening. Uh, police are expressing the fact that, that you're saying that they, that they got a raise. They're saying they can't see the raise. Then you're describing it as being uh, given, but yet spread out into areas that may be unseen, yet present. Right. <clears throat> now someone needs to sit down with them and, and begin to go through their paycheck and show them where the money is, why the money is in that place, and how it's benefiting them and their family. Because when t and they mentioned several times that there's a communication issue. Communication is the best thing. Nobody's talking to them. They're just saying it's done and they're, they're in the dark. So they just want somebody to sit down with them and explain this to them in a way where they can actually see it. Don't tell me I got something I can't see. So show it to me and show me where it is. What you're saying is, you know, I'm not on the finance committee, but I'm sure that when they met with the mayor and the chief, that they were thinking that that would fall on the chief to tell them how their money was split up. Let the mayor clarify this. I was under the impression that we were dealing with three hundred dollar raise for the police officers, and uh, I was under the impression that we were giving five hundred dollars to these two ladies. Okay, and that didn't happen. Made that happen? No. They got that, that was the last thing that was. Uh, they got the three hundred dollar raise. They got a five hundred dollar raise. Now, funds also, but the fund in getting this raise, there, you have to take into consideration the fact that there, these other things have to be paid too. That goes to you. When you get this type of raise, then your, your benefits go up. Who pays the benefits? Who's supposed to pay for the benefits? No. I beg your pardon? But y'all don't pay for my wife's kids' insurance or hospital. That's paid for me. I have to pay out of my pocket for my insurance for my kids and my family. So how is that a friend's benefit if I'm having to pay out of my pocket to for my kids and stuff? But the money comes and to I have you. What happened? I'm going to do so. What you, what you are expecting? You are expecting a three hundred to see a three hundred more dollars on your check. That's what you're saying. Dude. That's, that's, what, you're that's what I'm saying. That's what we're all saying. I say that's what you're saying. I'm saying all of you. Because you expect you expect three hundred ladies. You expect to see a five hundred dollar raise in your check. It doesn't work that way. We 
when you get that one, when you get that money that comes in, then you have to consider the taxes and all of the other rent benefits that goes along with it. You receive the $150 of it. The other $150 were utilized. I appreciate it. Well, we were just going to walk and say, I'm not going to like off some dollars here. Communication would have went a whole lot. I mean, it would have been solved. All of somebody had told us something. They might tell us nothing. Well, all we had to do was ask for that shit. But I can't show you that as an accountant. I mean, the only thing I can show you is what we did. Why should we have to ask you? Well, we didn't have to ask you. And we didn't have to ask you. And, and you know it's going to change, and that's how it's going to play out. Baby. But first of all, I guess I, 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 told, I told you specifically, if you want to talk, you came and you talked to me. You said no, I didn't come specifically to talk to you. I know you didn't, but we did. And we talked about it. And you brought the conversation. And I did, I because did. I wanted you to know. I wasn't trying to hide anything, and still not trying to hide anything. Okay, my, before, concern, my concern is that you do get an understanding. But that, that meeting never happened. I don't well, know that what wasn't happened. My, that wasn't way. my fault. I couldn't do nothing about it. Do the child pay for the employee's whole insurance and the spouse's insurance? Well, you know, the matching fund pay, the pound pay. You have to ask the employee. We don't pay for each employee. Each employee. Each employee. Each employee's insurance. The town funds each employee. It's five hundred dollars a month for each employee. It's the cost for the city for each employee. $500 a month, and we provide that for the employees. If they want to add their spouse or family, it's an additional cost to them. And how much is that? Well, if you just add your spouse, it would be about $500. How much does it go up for the new fiscal year? Family, it's, yeah, you know, it's There's a mandatory that the uh, employee pay for the financial minute or the government body can just take raise money and pay for insurance for them without notifying them. What I'm saying is maybe they have insurance somewhere else. And that's the money that you take and pay an insurance for them. That money can be coming in as a net profit instead of utilizing it as a gross and taking it doing other things where they cannot see it. Well, you can take, I'm, I'm sure you can add, they can drop the insurance. They can drop the insurance through us if they want to, okay. can they? That's, that's, not, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, that's but that's what I'm saying. saying. If they wanted to do that in order to take it, you know, as cash, take the, uh, and it's, it's cash taken home pay. But they said, we can't, we can't do that. I don't, I don't know the rules and the regulations on that. I'm hearing that the town furnished insurance for the employee. Right. That's all employees. But you're taking money and a raise out of their pay, putting more insurance on them without con con consulting with them. But that's that, 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 that because that premium has, that, that premium goes up. Therefore, it's, it, needs, it has to be paid. That was a, that, that raise, of course, goes along with the rest of the uh, rest of the responsibilities that they have. They get part of that money, yes. But whatever was left from paying these these with uh, these fringe benefits, they received. They got the three hundred. It was taken from the three hundred. So it's not optional whether or not to get insurance. No, and, and if it were, well, yeah, that would be fine. I mean, we will. All right, council, thank you. I got one question. Yes, sir. You asked the question. We had a question in the back. Well, did, uh, how much did the fringe benefits go up in the new fiscal year? Did it go up 200 bucks? I mean, well, for percent, how much was it? 28? 23, 28? I mean, if you're looking from 300 to 500 there, did it go up 200 bucks per person? Well, you take into consideration the insurance and then all the other. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Every, everything put together, really together would be 200 bucks. We just have to calculate it to see. I can't tell you exactly how much that would be. But individually, you have to do it on an individual basis. Thank you. 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 Thank you.